subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Steer technology iPhone SE versus Moto G6 speed test. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in three, two, one. And I'm sure you all know why I'm comparing these two phones, and that's one reason the price. Both of these phones are in around the same price category. As a matter of fact, the iPhone SE is cheaper than the Moto G6, and we're going to see if it's more powerful even though it's a 2016 smartphone versus a 2018 smartphone. So there's the SE. It wins very easily on the boot up. Now, Motorola does that little animation here, which actually makes it a little bit slower to boot up over some other devices. So the SE with the win on the boot up test. Okay guys, so here we are on the lock screens of both these devices and let's go ahead and test the fingerprint scanners on both. Three, two, one, and you can see that's the Moto G6. Again, three, two, one, and that's the Moto G6. So the Moto G6 has the faster unlock time for the fingerprint. It also does have face unlock, something the SE doesn't have, and you can bypass the uh, you know lock screen just by tapping on the fingerprint, whereas you have to have the raise the wake feature enabled on the SE to not have to actually hit the power button. So I have it off, but if you have raise the wake on, then you could just pick your phone up and be ready to get in on the SE. Overall, the lock screen speed and getting into your phone is faster for the Moto G6. Okay guys, so quickly confirming software, the iPhone SE is running iOS 11.4. That software is up to date. And over here, we are running Android 8.0 Oreo. These are both on some official softwares, no betas for this video okay hey guys so we have arrived at the application portion of this speed test and you can see everything is closed out for the moto g6 over there on the left everything is closed out on the se 450 snapdragon right here and this does have you know like three gigs of ram two gigs of ram for the se and an a9 cpu let's go into calendar three two one and you could see that was so much quicker on the se coming home let's go into clock and you can see that's the se again coming home let's go into calculator you can see the iPhone SE one more time and settings. And you could see that look like the SE again. Let's go into Instagram 321. And that one's gonna go to oh, that was pretty close. You're gonna have to call that one down below. Let's go into Twitter. That one looked like the SE to me. Let's go into Snapchat. And you could see Snapchat is first on the left. What about WhatsApp? And WhatsApp's again on the left. Let's go into YouTube and YouTube on the left again. And uh, they do have a Moto G6 Plus, but it's not available in the US. Let's go into Netflix. That one has a Snapdragon 630 CPU. That would probably be closer here. So the SE winning so far on most of these apps. What about Amazon? But considering the SE is cheaper than this phone, it kind of doesn't make sense to buy a phone with worse performance. It looks like so far coming home. Let's go into eBay. And you could see eBay is first on the left, then on the right. I think a good comparison would be maybe the Honor 7X versus this device. It's also on a similar price point. And you could see there goes the SE iPhone 6 also in the same price point as the Moto G6. If you still want to pick up an old boy. And you could see that was the SE on Jetpack. Let's go to Dead Trigger 2 and see which one can load this up first. The SE ready to go. The SE is more like flagship level performance versus you know or mid-range at least versus this definitely feels like a budget level performance phone on the moto g6 so moto g6 now finally we would have already been on the next mission here on dead trigger 2 for the se if we uh if we started playing the game so there goes the moto g6 man this is not really nice performance here i, I was expecting more out of this device especially considering it's 250 price point but i guess you're paying for the design and the face unlock and the fingerprint scanner and having all those extra goodies but you kind of sacrifice with the processor let's go to subway surfers and you can see subway surfers does open first now on the looks like the left's gonna smoke smoke it yes it does the iphone se smokes the moto g6 on subway surfer as you can see we're not kidding look at this okay so while i don't think either one of these phones are blazing fast anymore uh at least in this round the moto g6 is not looking too quick let's go into slither and you could see slither is definitely on the sc we're already playing we're going to eat some worms up or these little dots and over here now we could play for the moto G6. You do have the bigger, more crispy screen in the 1080, but I think the calibration and brightness is still better on the iPhone SE based on what I'm seeing so far. Let's go into Video Shop, and you can see Video Shop on the left and then the right. Geekbench, 
again loaded on the left and then the right let's go into speed test and speed test is open f about the same I'm gonna call that one even let's go into Chrome and Chrome is open about the same let's go into Facebook and you can see Facebook similar so similar performance in Chrome when it comes to just web browsing that's a pretty good thing because we don't want a slow web browsing device so overall in the single core or the single round of speed test it's pretty clear the SE was an easy win over the Moto G6 and it's coming in at about hundred dollars less than this device at the current time okay so we're gonna quickly run through the applications to see if we get any reloads here we'll begin with the SE you could see that's open that's open right there Geekbench open let's go into video shop open as well slither a little slight pause there jetpack a little bit of a pause there it's resuming okay so we had a slight pause on on that one dead trigger it's holding it there not a problem and then we have jetpack so that's good to go ebay let's go into amazon two gigs of ram remember for the se and you could see not quite as good as like iphone 10 performance youtube you could see let's go into whatsapp here and let's go into snapchat and then twitter and instagram and let's go into settings that's good calculator clock calendar so good performance here on the multitasking for the SE. a little bit of a pause here and there on a couple apps no big deal let's see if the motorola with its three gigs of ram can hold all these applications i'm rooting for you moto g6 we have chrome there uh, that was the wrong one. Let's go into speed test here. That's pretty good to go. And we got Geekbench. Video shops ready. Slither. Okay, that was ready to go. Nice stuff. We were already in Subway Surfers. About ready to go. Dead Trigger 2. And it looks like we have a full reload here on Dead Trigger 2. Jetpack Joyride. Oh man, another reload here. You know, you can't fake this stuff on camera. This phone has more RAM and it just reloaded two apps in a row that were not reloaded for the SE. eBay, and you could see another reload. Amazon, wow. This is pretty disappointing considering the price point of this phone, 250 bucks with tax. We, you know, we get a couple accessories. You're looking at 300 bucks. This might not be worth it. Netflix, and uh, oh man, not looking good here. Not looking good for a 2018 phone. This is what the iPhone 6 does, and that's a 2014 phone. It kind of reloads apps now. And let's go to the Snapchat. Wow. Stutter there. Twitter. It's 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 and it sounds it's gonna sound like I'm so biased, but I mean I gotta be I gotta be totally honest here. This phone is disappointing me here live on camera as we're watching it. You can see the stutters and the you know the the lack of holding these apps in the background. I'm sure it should hold these just fine. But you can even see these clock and calculator just reloaded as well. And calendar, again, this phone, not going to be a great multitasking phone. So if you're going to be running more than a few apps, again, it's a $250 phone. A lot of, you know, tech publications and websites are going to tell you, oh, it's got nice design. But you've seen right here that performance is not really nice so far for at least the standard Moto G6. I'm not talking about the Plus, but the standard Moto G6. Hey guys, so that's it. The iPhone SE versus the Moto G6. What we learned here is that the SE is still the faster device. You're gonna pay less for this phone. Um, the reason I really did this is because I wanted to see how good a budget phone's performance is in the Moto G6. And quite honestly, it's not bad. It's just, it's not that impressive either. So I think you might wanna look for something that can perform a little bit better if you really care about performance. If you want a phone that's kind of trendy looking at the tall display, 1080p, face unlock, it's still a great value with clean software, but it's just not amazingly quick with its Snapdragon 450. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will